Hi all, Enda here. Um, over the next seven or eight minutes or so, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with knots. We are going to start with the most basic knot of all, the overhand knot. Work through a few hitch variations and then through a couple of constrictor knot variations. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll get a really good appreciation for how easy it is to get going with knots. And it is very simple. Okay. Um, now I like to use a kettlebell as a training aid, which is why I have it here. Um, I use this particular line that I picked up in a sailing shop. But really whatever gauge line you have, whether you have paracord, boot laces, it really doesn't matter. All you need is a bit of string, uh, about two foot long or so, uh, which is perfectly adequate for training in most of these knots. Okay. Now during these videos, I like to call the open end of the line the tail and the rest of the main line is just the terminology I use. All right. So we start off with the most basic knot of all and that is the overhand knot. And all we're going to do is turn the tail back on itself, cross that main line around the back, through that loop and pull it through and that is the overhand knot it doesn't get much easier than that it really really is that simple over the main line around the back through the loop and pull it through and that's the overhand knot okay everybody probably knows that now when you apply the overhand knot to something it becomes a half hitch so let's try it here so we're going over the handle of the kettlebell okay we're going to go over that main line we're going to pull it through the loop and then we're going to pull it tight and that is a half hitch now point to note we're not tying it like this, we're going to move that tail down here to the side and that becomes our half hitch. Really simple. Now the challenge with the half hitch as you can see is just not a very secure knot. So what we could do to resolve that is we can double up on it. So again go to go around the bar here and go to over the main line and go to pull it through down to the side, create that first half hitch and then do the exact same thing again. Over that main line, pull it through and bring it down to the side here and pull it nice and tight and we have two half hitches and a reasonably secure knot. Again, very simple. Now the important point to note when you do these half hitches is that you always tie them in the exact same direction. So you can go under, I prefer to go over. So go over the line, pull it through, and then tighten it up. So for the second one, exact same direction. Over the top, pull it through, and tighten it up. So whichever direction you want to go is fine, so long as you end up with this tail between the two loops. That's what we're aiming for. Now that's reasonably secure, okay? To make that a little bit more secure, what we can do is we can do a second loop around that bar. So now as you can see, I've got two loops. And all I do then is tie my two overhands or half hitches around that rope. So there's one and the second one in the same direction. Pull it through and there you go. And that is a nice little knot that's very handy for putting up tents, awning, tying down a kayak, whatever you want. Really, really good knot. Okay. To extend that then into the next hitch, which I want to show you, it's called a clove hitch, which is really simple. So, come back to this starting point here. Okay. All I'm going to do is take this tail and go to cross over that main line to create this Y shape. Pull the tail around, and with this tail now parallel to that main line, I'm going to slide it up underneath the left arm of that Y shape that we created and pull it through. And that's a claw hitch. Very, very useful lot. Okay, I'll show you once again. So we're going to take this tail, we're going to cross over that main line to create a Y shape. We bring that tail around and then parallel to the main line, slide it up underneath that left arm of the Y shape and pull it through and that is a claw hitch. So if you're into kayaker like me, that's a very, very useful knot to know. It's a temporary knot, not the most secure, but it's very handy in that you can you know, adjust it really easily by pushing and pulling on the two ends of the line to change the height of the knot. So very, very simple as you can see. Okay. Now there's a slight variation of this which is really handy to know that creates an even more secure clove hitch. I'll just show you. So when we were doing our clove hitch, we started off by bringing that line across to create this Y shape. What we can do is do a second line, second loop right across to create two loops on that left hand side. And again, same thing, we bring our tail and we slide it up underneath those left arms of that Y and pull it through. And there it creates a nice variation of the claw hitch that's very secure. That's a really nice secure line. Okay, so that's the claw hitch, very simple. Now, moving forward then to constrictor knots, which are among my favorite knots, nice secure ones. Okay, so we're in this position here where we've created our claw hitch. Okay, so to create the claw hitch, we go under there. So what we do now is we bring this line across, the tail across, and see where we have this X shape, okay? 
we take our tail and we slide it right under the middle of that X, right under there. See, so we have our X shape and we're taking our tail and sliding it right under that X and we pull it through. And that is constrictor knot. And when you pull that tight, that is a really, really secure line. There's no give there at all. It's a really good line. Good, good knot to know. All right, pretty simple. Now there's another variation of that that I really like, is that you take your tail, you bring it across, and instead of going up under here, up under the X, we can go up under that outside arm here and pull it through. And that's another variation of that constrictor knot, which again is pretty secure. But one reason I like this is that rather than put the tail through, you can actually create a loop in that line. And slide that loop through there, pull it through, and then tighten the whole thing up. So that gives you a nice constrictor knot with a quick release. So all you have to do to release that knot is pull on the tail and you're back to that position there. And that's very simple. So again, just recapping on some of those. We'll bring a line around, we cross over the main line, bring the tail through, sliding it under there will be a claw hitch. Bring the line across, bring it up underneath the X will be our constrictor knot. Or bring it up under that outside arm will be another variation of the constrictor knot, but one where we can easily do a little loop, put that loop through to create ourselves a little quick release. So when we want to release that knot, we can pull it through and we're out. And it's as simple as that. So very, very simple tutorial there um, on how to get started with knots. We covered a half hitch. Uh, we covered, starting with overhead knot, we then covered a the half hitches. We covered a clove hitch uh, and a variation of a clove hitch and then two variations of constrictor knot. So hopefully you found that useful. Any comments, criticism or feedback, please put in the chat. And if you do like this video, please subscribe. It will have more videos going up on some other knots that I think will be useful for you. Okay, thank you.